na wakulima wamehimizwa kuimarisha uzalishaji kwa kutumia kawi safi ili kupunguza gharama za ukulima. Wakulima wenye mashamba madogo wanasema hawawezi kumudu gharama ya vifaa vya kunasa kawi safi na sasa wametaka serikali kuwapa vishawishi wale wanaotaka kutumia teknolojia zinazorahisisha matumizi ya kawi hiyo. This part of having renewable energy for purposes of water but even then to ensure that people can make some money out of renewable energy they can make a coin they can make a thousand shillings we have we have we call it a thousand shillings a day out of their agriculture it's something that i would see happening because then that is how we move from poverty to an income the opportunities abound what we want to do is make sure that all of the prerequisites the criteria from energy to water to transportation um, to, to access to markets are all put in place such that our farmers our cooperatives are able to compete and are able to serve these markets that that, that present such opportunity to them real connective tissue is in productive use of energy how we leverage energy we know we cannot no country in the world has ever developed without energy. Leveraging energy to unlock opportunities, to unlock wealth is at the heart of what this is about. So this is the opportunity as well that has social economic benefits to actually bring in this element and industry around cooling. And as my colleagues here have said, we really have to invest in that. The three D's revolution, decarbonization, no more, no more coal, no more uh, you know, fossil fuel. Second, decentralization. Today in Kenya you can produce your own uh, kilowatt hour cheaper than what the utility charges you and is in your compound. So this decentralization. And the third D is digitalization. It is such an amazing thing what is happening in Europe. It's not scientific, it's off the shelf.